Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Blu-ray unboxing and I am so excited to show you what I've picked up lately from Amazon, but also Best Buy because Best Buy was having this whole bundle sale. If you buy one and you get another one, you get money off of both and I cannot resist a deal like that. Let me tell you. So I went ahead, I took advantage of the sale and I bought four brand new titles. However, two of them are pre-orders. So I won't be getting those until later on. I have one of them. I'm still waiting on the second box to come in but that has not arrived yet so when it does I will do the unboxing for that in a future video so I have one Best Buy to show you one Best Buy package and the rest is Amazon so really quickly if you have not yet joined the Movies and Sue family please hit the red subscribe down below especially if you love movies and all physical media content I put out videos pretty much on a daily basis so with everything that I do I'm sure you'll find something that you gravitate towards. I discuss box office news, unboxings like this, and I also let you know what is upcoming for Blu-rays to get on the following Tuesday for new releases. So let's get started with this unboxing. So I do have some movies that are kind of already unboxed, and I do have a story for this. So I had three Amazon packages coming all at the same time. Of course, it was the one day of that entire week that we were having a torrential rainstorm. So I had three packages just like this, not the plastic ones from Amazon, the paper ones like this, that were drenched and soaking wet on my front doorstep. I was devastated when I opened my door because the Amazon driver did not think about putting the movies kind of underneath the awning of my front door, wrapping it in plastic, putting it inside of my screen door. Didn't do any of those things. Just threw them on my front porch and hightailed it out of there. So all of my packages were soaking wet. I had to open them up right then and there. Number one, to check the damage and see if there was any damage. And then number two, mold. We don't want a mold situation happening. So this entire stack that I'm going to show you is already pre-opened, but it's your first time seeing it. So that's all that matters. So I'm starting with Deadly Games from Arrow. I'm getting into the Arrow titles. I'm noticing I'm gravitating for boutique label. I'm going towards Arrow, but I have been ordering from Shout Factory and also, also Vinegar Syndrome. So those are going to be future videos as well. Lots of great stuff in the month of March. I told you, hit that red subscribe. Okay, so I got Deadly Games. Self-promotion, I can't get enough. All right, Deadly Games from Arrow. I'm digging it. I love the color. I the cover and the color. I love them both. I read the description online. I think I'm going to be into it. I think this movie's right up my alley. I'm going to enjoy it. So Deadly Games, super excited to get into this whenever I do. This one I could not resist because it was on sale at Blu-ray.com for about $17. Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker. It's just a fun title to say. And the slip cover is amazing. So I really enjoy both. I'm just happy it came with the slip. Anything with a slip cover... I'm super excited about. So there we go. I picked up the Skulls Trilogy because this was on sale. Well, not sale, but kind of like regular release price, about $12.99. It's been there for about a month. And I'm like, eh, I kind of wanted to go a little bit lower, but I'm thinking three movies, $12.99, really not that bad. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger and I got it. I had never seen any of these movies. So brand new experience right there. This one I've never seen. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, only $7.99. Such a great, amazing deal over at Blu-ray.com. I cannot express enough. Go to Blu-ray.com, search those pages because movies like this, older films, classics, seven, eight ninety nine. Not bad of price. So definitely go over there and check it out. This one. Double pack of My Girl and My Girl, My Girl 2 for $4.99. $4.99. Absolutely incredible. I'm not sure if the sale is still on for this one, but if it is, go and check it out. Definitely. Okay. I have an MVD title with a nice slip cover. Liar's Moon. This one was on sale as well, I believe for about $16. So I pulled the trigger on that one. It's kind of like a forbidden love story and I'm kind of a sucker for those, I got to admit. So 
I was like, yeah, I'll like that. I like the slip cover. Let me get that one. Okay, next up, I was thrilled that this one went on sale because I love Margot Robbie, but I'm not thrilled with this slip cover. Look at the slip cover. Look at this. So Dreamland I found on Blu-ray.com for only $6.99, but you can tell this is a used movie. For some reason, it got you know tossed back into into the hall, into the you know the warehouse, whatever. They rewrapped it. Look at the slip cover. It is so damaged. Look at. But for only $6.99, I mean, I guess I really can't complain, but I'm going to complain because it just, it's not that great looking. This really bothers me up here. Really, really bothers me. But I do love Margot Robbie, so I figure I'll suck it up, add it into the collection. Whatever. <laughs> you can't win them all, now can you? Okay, this film I've heard a lot of great things about, and it was on sale for $9.99, I believe, and that is Fruitvale Station with Michael B. Jordan. I've never seen it, but like I said, I've heard great, fantastic things, so I wanted to add that one in. Then we got 200 cigarettes. I was waiting for this to go down in price. I was really hoping it was going to, but it just never happened. It stayed at $17.99. I was like, I want it. I need it. So I got it. So 200 cigarettes. I love the yellow. It pops. Love that. 80s throwback, like father, like son, $7.99. Go check out those prices. Very nostalgic from my childhood. Very excited about that. And then finally from the unboxing, not unboxing pile, I guess you would say. Dead Poet Society with Robin Williams. Never seen it. $5.99. And I actually know this one is still $5.99 because I was on Blu-ray.com earlier today. I'm always looking for the sales and this is still $5.99. So head on over there if you need it, if you want it, if you haven't seen it and pick it up because it's probably worth it for that price. At least I'm hoping anyway that it is. So let's move on to the films or the unbox or the boxes that I have not opened yet. So let's start with this one. There we go. This is the fun one where you get to rip it open like that. Let's see how well I can do it this time. Okay, there's no going back. I cannot refilm this video. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh, what did Susan get? Susan got the Spider-Man trilogy on 4K. It went down to $52.49, something like that. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. <laughs> I'm just going to get it because it's Spider-Man. It's Toby. I need it. I need it on 4K. Ah, no Blu-ray option. It is only 4K. I did not realize that. So good to know. But now I have it. So ah, all is right with the world. Very happy about that. All right. Next up. Ah, this one. I actually was watching my killer podcast video about movies that she had picked up and she highly recommended in dreams with Annette Benning. I believe. Yes. Robert Downey Jr. Right up my alley. I love Robert Downey Jr. RDJ is what I call him, uh, in dreams. So I'm excited for this one. I took her recommendation and I went with it, Mel. I picked it up. Thank you so much for recommending this. I'm looking forward to watching this and I will report back on how this movie is. So in dreams, there we go. Then last in this package, ah, intersection with Richard Gere, Sharon Stone, and who else? Some other chick. I think her name is Lolita Davidovich or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so this is, this is probably an oldie, but a goodie for a lot of you out there. A lot of you have probably never heard of this film. I have never seen it. So it sounded interesting. Why not pick it up? Why not? Why not just get it? Add more stuff in that I've never seen before. I don't have a lot of Richard Gere in my collection. So there we go. That's a good excuse to add it in. All right. We'll go with the Best Buy package. So this is the one Best Buy. This is from the bundle sale that I took advantage of. I already pre-opened, as you can see. Don't want to waste any time here. It's precious time. What'd I get? Oh, you already saw. Oh, Christine on Steelbook. Ooh, very exciting. So normally this Steelbook is, I believe, $14.99 on Best Buy. But because I did the bundle, I ended up getting this for $11.99. 
not a bad deal whatsoever. I will take it. So here we go. Christine on 4K. I did not even realize it was 4K. So 4K, here we go. The front, the back. And I've actually never seen this all the way through A to Z. I've seen bits and pieces. So looking forward to this one. Always nice to add in more Stephen King into the collection. And this is directed by John Carpenter. Yes. Yes. John Carpenter. I had no idea that he did this. So I'm always looking to add to the John Carpenter collection, always, because I really like him as a director. Last package. Here we go. So exciting. What could it be? What could it be? Ooh, ooh, it's red. Ooh. <gasps> oh, Man on the Moon with Jim Carrey. This is a recent release. Nice slip cover. I'm so excited. I got the slip. I got the slip. Ah, Kino Lorbo title. And I picked this up because the price went down to about $17. So I was like, yes, that is worth it for me. Jim Carrey plays the true life story of Andy Kaufman. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. You know me and my biopics. I absolutely love and adore. So I'm very happy to add this into my collection with a very nice slip cover. All right, so that is everything for this most recent Blu-ray unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below, what have you bought online lately from Best Buy, Amazon, Blu-ray.com? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.